Hey everyone, Jim from Crossroad Cycler here in Terre Haute, Indiana. Came in a little early this morning, we wanted to get some bikes built. We've been super busy, uh, we've got, got some inventory we need to restock, but I also wanted to take a minute and do a product video for you. This is a new product that we are carrying in the shop now. Um, we've had a lot of people come in asking about smart helmets. And you know, on the same side, we've had people come in to do a lot of talking about going out and riding their bikes and wearing their earbuds while they're out riding, which when I hear that, I kind of cringe a little bit because I'm not a big fan of wearing earbuds while you're out riding, especially on the road. That's dangerous enough as it is. And then to, to put earbuds in, you're, you're kind of, you might as well go out and ride with your eyes closed. Um, but when we heard about this Koros helmet, um, my wife and I did some research on it. And this was a company that seemed to have a very good product and uh, we, we called and talked to the representatives there. They gave us some of the information about their product and um, we decided we wanted to, to look a little further into it. So I'm going to do a little unboxing here and show you what this is. Um, my wife and I have been riding with this helmet now for a couple of months. We've got uh, several rides in with this so we have some some real life feedback that we can supply. Uh, we don't like to promote something if we don't at least know how it works and if it's it's a good product we don't want to to do that so we didn't want to you know do a lot of videos or anything on it till we knew um, but in the box what you get here I'm sorry I'm doing this with one hand so um, what comes in the box of course is your helmet and um, this is the Koros um, Road helmet this is a safe sound road is what they call this um, the road helmet comes in three colors, uh, white, red, and black. Uh, so on the red one, basically wherever you see white, it would be red and the black one's solid black. Um, the other helmets, they, they have a mountain bike version and an urban version. The mountain bike, of course, is a traditional mountain bike looking helmet, uh, with a visor on it and the urban version, traditional urban look with a uh, few less vent holes, a little more rounded, not quite as aerodynamic looking. Um, so right now we've got the road version in, we've got the road helmets in. Um, we've not had very many people asking about uh, mountain bike, but if, if you're interested, uh, we, we can get them as well. Um, so the road helmet, as you see here, like I said, aerodynamic, it is made with the uh, kind of the traditional, the EPS impact foam that they use. And then um, it's got a polycarbonate outer shell, reinforced polycarbonate, so it's got good structure, good impact resistance. Um, it is rated as a water, sweat, and rain proof, so you don't have to worry about getting it wet, the electronics and whatnot involved in it. It's an IPX5 rating, so it's, it's safe and secure there. Um, it's, you know, like I said, a very nice, nice helmet. It does have a, a nice set of straps on it. Uh, the straps are adjustable. It's also got the dial adjuster on the back to fine tune your, your helmet adjustment. Uh, you'll see the chin strap. It's, uh, it's coated. It's not just a, a nylon strap. It's, it's nice. It's comfortable. Easy to adjust. It's got a nice clip on it. Um, all in all, very nice helmet. Uh, it's got a nice, nice padded liner. So, and like I said, I, I've been wearing one and, uh, the, the air ventilation is nice on it. It, it doesn't, uh, it flows well. You don't get a lot of obstruction. It doesn't appear. Um, it, it feels good. Um, the helmets, they come in a, a small, medium, and large size, kind of the traditional sizing on those, um, you know, large being a really 59 to 63 centimeter. Um, the, the smalls are 51 to 55 and the mediums fall in that, uh, 55 to 59 range. Um, and the weight on it, it's not bad. It's, uh, the large is 340 grams, the small is 300 grams. So it's not, not overly heavy. Um, big features on this helmet, of course, being a smart helmet are, these little guys, if you can see them here, these little speakers. Um, I don't know if you can catch the catch that just right on the light. Uh, but Koros makes two different types of helmets, or I should say, they make helmets with two different types of sound reproduction systems. Um, and this little speaker, this is called the ear opening uh, sound system. And then the other type that they use is a uh, more of a vibration. Uh, it vibrates and sends vib vibrations through the cheekbone that then um, when they get into your, your ear canal there, they turn that into sound. So we decided to go with the, uh, the this version that has the ear opening sound system. Basically, they're like a directional speaker. The way it was explained to us is that that, that will, um, it's a Bluetooth 
speaker so it attaches you know it hooks up to your phone and then it will send the audio through that into your ear canal it does not actually enter your ear canal it doesn't go into the ear uh, it rests flush against your cheek and that by not going into your ear allows for other uh, for you to hear other sounds uh, the outside sounds and it does work I have to say the first time we took it out and rode with it um, my wife was was riding behind me she was you know a couple bikes lengths behind me and I could hear her if she you know called out car back I could hear if she you know wanted to said hey let's turn here or let's let's turn up ahead or something or hey I want to stop here or stop there I could hear everything that she said easily um, and then also you know while we were riding side by side we could talk to each other and and carry on a conversation all while having music uh, streaming through them um, and it wasn't that was even on a windy day if I recall that we had like 20 mile hour headwinds that day so you had the wind noise associated with that in addition to everything else and you could still hear cars you could hear each other plus you, you could hear your music so that was a pretty cool cool thing um, then the other feature on the helmet if we look towards the back of the helmet um, this right here this is the tail light that comes on the helmet um, so when you Actuate that through the uh, the use of the remote that you have. It will turn your tail light on and off, and it blinks. Um, and then right below it here, underneath that little door, that's the charging port for your helmet. And then this button here turns it on and off. So I'm going to try to turn it on. I don't know if it's got enough battery charge, but I'm going to try to turn it on just to let you see what it looks like, and you can probably hear what it says. I don't know if you heard that or not, but it says power on, and then of course the light comes on just to let you know that it's on. That that also doubles as your charging indicator, so if you plug it in at home, you can uh, as you're charging it, it will show you not only how much battery you have left, but how much of the light illuminates. It will show you that it is charging. When you turn the light on and off uh, with the remote, it tells you, you know, you hear through the ear openings that it says uh, light on or light off, so you know that it's actually working. And then when you turn the helmet off, power off and then it, it'll flash and go off so that's that's kind of the the neat thing there another feature of the helmet um, it has what they call the uh, SOS alert system built in and there's an app that you can download onto your phone and since this is a Bluetooth enabled device you know you have to have your phone with you in order to, to use it so if you have the app on the phone then you can put emergency contacts in it and in the event that impact is detected it will send an alert to whoever you have listed as an emergency contact and I think you can list two or three people on there um, and then uh, it will not only alert them it will pin your location and also while it is doing that um, the rear tail light will start flash flashing an SOS signal so hopefully anyone that sees that would recognize that that is SOS but even if they don't um, they would see the flashing and if you were not able to, to you know, actually get help, they would understand that there may be something wrong there. So it would alert, you know, get their attention and alert them. So that's a, that's a really neat feature that we liked. Um, so let me continue with the unboxing here real quick and just show you what else you get. Uh, you also have this little box, which has all of your accessories, which would consist of your, your paperwork, your quick start guide, your warranty, registration information, this bag here has your charging cord in it, so it's you know, your basic charging cord like you have for everything else. Uh, you know, and then um, this little bag has a couple extra pads in case you need to put an extra pad on the EOSS speakers, as well as the little O-ring straps that everything's using nowadays to attach items to bikes. And the item would be your remote and your remote cradle. So this is the cradle that attaches to the handlebars. And then this is the remote that snaps into the cradle. And I have to say that cradle is very secure. It is sometimes a little difficult to actually um, get the remote to snap into place. That's how, how tight it holds. And that's good because you don't want to hit a bump and have your remote go flying out. And believe me, as secure as that thing is, I don't think you're going to have to worry about that. Um, and then talk real quick a little bit about the remote. Which I'll show you what it is. So with the remote, as you'll see, um, these top buttons here 
there's a volume up and a volume down. So if you're listening to, to your streaming audio, you can increase or decrease the volume as needed. This button here with the light on it is what you use to turn the light on and off. This button is your, your ride data. So I, I believe you hit that button and it will start your, your tracking on your app, on your phone. Uh, these buttons right here will uh, move through your, your uh, playlist if you've got a list of songs or whatever. Um, these will move forward and back. And then the center button, the, the yellowish orange button here, that will pause. If you hit that button, it, it will pause the, the audio that you're hearing. It will also answer the phone if, you're, if you get a phone call. And that feature works well at, at also. I mean, we, uh, we tried it and my wife and I, when we first got the helmets in, um, we, uh, I was walking around the shop here with my helmet on and she was in the other, other side of the building and she called and I could carry on a conversation with her normal voice and she could hear me fine. I could hear her fine. Uh, it does have a, sp a speaker, I believe is mounted right there in the, uh, top of the helmet. And so it is a, and it's listed as a, a wind, a wind proof or a sound dampening speaker. So it, it takes out some of the wind noise. So it, it allows uh, them to hear you versus hear all the outside noise. Um, and so that's, that's a nice feature as well. Um, so that's the remote. Okay. Um, so that's, that's the, the, the helmet in a nutshell. I mean, that's kind of what you're looking at. Um, like I said, we've got these products here. Um, so far we've been super pleased with them. We've, like I said, used them several times, not had any problems. Um, I think that they uh, are definitely worth looking into if you're looking for something like that. Um, that's the Coros Smart Sound Helmet. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to call us or stop by, hit us up on, on Facebook or Instagram message and, and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Uh, so that's it. So, hey, thanks for listening, guys. I uh, hope to hear from you or see you soon. Remember, life's a journey. Enjoy the ride. Have a good day. Bye.